Welcome back to Chemistry. My name is Jeremy Krug with another chemical demonstration. Now today, we're going to be taking some hydrochloric acid. This is uh, 6 molar hydrochloric acid, so it's relatively concentrated. And I'm going to put about 4 milliliters of this into a glass bottle. And to that, I'm going to add zinc metal. Now zinc metal reacts with hydrochloric acid to produce uh, hydrogen gas and zinc chloride. So we're going to see what happens. Now, the hydrogen gas, as we know, can be collected. So I'm going to drop the zinc metal. We can see the metal here. It's uh, very shiny. It's a shiny metal, quite reactive with the acid. And I want to try to collect that gas with this balloon. So I'm going to very carefully cap this with the balloon. As you can see, we're producing a lot of hydrogen gas. You can see the bubbling down there. And this is a fairly exothermic reaction. I can touch this here at the bottom and it's fairly warm. So this is giving off quite a bit of heat. Now once I'm satisfied that I have enough hydrogen gas, I'm going to, I'm going to tie off this balloon. And let's see what happens when we react this hydrogen with oxygen in the air. Now for comparison, I have another balloon. This is a little bit larger, but I've just blown this up with uh, some air from my lungs. And so this, this balloon has mostly carbon dioxide gas in it. So I'm going to set this over here on the side. And we're going to try blowing up the two balloons and seeing how they compare with each other. Now here I have a stick with a candle on the end of it. Now sometimes people ask me why I have a stick with a candle on the end of it. Well, you're about to see why. I'm going to start by reacting the carbon dioxide balloon. So let's see what happens when I burn that in air, or I try to burn that in air. The balloon pops, but it's not very spectacular. Well, let's see what happens when I take the same candle and I react that with the hydrogen this time. much more explosive. So the hydrogen reacted with oxygen very explosively to produce a little bit of water. And if you're very careful, you actually might be able to see, and I don't think I, perhaps I can hold this here, there's a little bit of water vapor that's condensed inside that balloon. So we've made a little bit of water. This has been another chemical demonstration. If you enjoyed this, I hope you like this and subscribe to my channel and you can visit my website at krugslist.org.